Hi. Uh, thank you for your question. You've said that uh, can STDs be prevented by washing your genitals or your private parts? Now, first of all, let us try to understand what is an STD. An STD is a sexually transmitted disease which uh, is normally transmitted through sexual contact. And how through sexual contact? Through the transmission of blood, semen or the vaginal fluid. Now let me tell you one thing, that uh, these uh, seminal fluid or the blood or the vaginal fluid may contain things like microbes, it may contain things like parasites, it may contain things like viruses and it may contain things like protozoans. Now simply by washing your genitals, these things cannot be eliminated either from the semen, either from the blood or from the vaginal fluids. So what can you do to prevent an STD? Now uh, let me come to that part. The first part is already answered that you cannot prevent yourself from having an STD by simply washing your genitals. So the thing which you need to first of all do is, first of all you need to be knowledgeable about how STDs are spread. By that the symptoms of STD, for example, you know uh, some kind of rash, some kind of sore, some kind of irritation in the groin or some kind of discharge from the genitals. So that kind of basic knowledge you need to have. The second thing which you need to understand is uh, you need to uh, avoid having sex with strangers. By stranger I mean a person whose sexual history you do not know. That is a very clear way of preventing STDs. A third way of preventing STD is through the consistent use of condoms, either a male condom or a female condom. Then what you can do to prevent an STD is probably communicate with your partner. If you think that your partner has a very colorful sexual history and you think he's made love to several people before he's made love to you, it's very important to talk and directly ask your partner whether they are infected with some kind of a sexually transmitted disease or not. If he or she says that they are, then you need to avoid sexual contact with them till the time they have recovered from the problem. Now what else you can do? You can also be very, very observant when you are with your partner and when you are in the state of undress, if you notice some kind of sores or rashes or redness or some kind of abnormality in the skin around the groin, then you can be sure that it is some kind of infection and it is better to drop the idea of having sex at that point of time. Now, having said that, there are still few more things which you can do. What you can do is you can do something which is known as dry humping. When I talk about dry humping, Dry humping is having sex with your clothes on where you rub your body against each other and you are not coming in direct contact with your partner's skin. So that way also you can remain free from infection. Alternately what you can also do is you can masturbate your partner and that is how you can prevent yourself from having an STD. You can also use what is known as a sex toy which comes in various shapes, in various sizes and in various forms. We don't get them in our country, but you can order them uh, online. Also, what you can do is, uh, instead of going all the way, you can uh, do what is known, give each other a sensual massage. Or probably, you can just hug each other very tightly and don't do anything beyond that. And finally, what you need to understand is you also need to have a proper sense of sexual communication with your partner. If uh, he or she is, feel you feel that he is infected then you have to tell them very clearly that look this is not the right time to have sex with you one more thing which you can do to be completely safe from sex is to abstain from sex and finally uh, last and the most important thing is don't ever assume that just because somebody looks very innocent uh, they don't have a past sexual history you can never know you have to ask them and if you are in any doubt you have to withhold sex for some time Till the time you completely trust the partner and then go to bed with him or her.